open our eyes that we Johnson Moore, and I want to welcome you to Daily Devotional. Today, we are going to be talking about Judges 5, 1 through 31. Judges 5, 1 through 31, and it talks about the song of Deborah, the song of Deborah. Yes. So I want you to get your Bibles, your pen, your paper, your tablet, cell phones, however you may read the word. And come and join me for this session of Daily Devotional. Coming out of Judges 5, 1 through 31. All right. Come on now. Let's get busy. Judges 5, 1 through 31. And it reads, Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, 
on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear. O ye princes, I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou went, wentest out of Siri, Siri, when thou marchedest out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens dropped. The clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before the Lord, even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied. And the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased. They ceased in Israel until that I, Deborah, arose. That I arose a mother in Israel. They chose new gods. Then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among 40,000 in Israel? My heart is toward the governors of Israel that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye the Lord. Speak ye that ride on white asses Ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. There shall they rehearse the righteous act of the Lord. Even the righteous act towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake. Utter a song. Arise, Barak, and Lead thy captivity captive, thou son of a ben Benham. Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. The Lord made me have dominion over the mighty. Out of Ephraim. Was there a root of them against Amalek? After thee, Benjamin, among thy people, out of Machar came down governors, and out of Zebulun they, had, they that handled the pen of the writing. And the prince of Issachar were with Deborah, even Issachar, and also Barak. He was sent on foot into the valley. For the divisions of Reuben there were great through, I mean, great thoughts of heart. For the division of Reuben there were great thoughts of heart. Why abodest thou among the sheepfold? to hear the bleatings of the flocks. For the divisions of Reuben, there were great searchings of heart. Gilead, arose, uh, 
Gilead abode beyond Jordan? And why did Dan remain in ships? Asher continued to the seashore and abode in his breaches. Zebulun and Naphtali were a people that jeopard, jeopardized their lives unto the death in the high places of the field. The kings came and fought. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tianak by the waters of Midgadu. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. The river of Kishon swept them away. That ancient river, the river Kishon. O oh my soul, thou hast trodden down strength. Then were the horse hooves broken by the means of the parsonings, the parsonings of their mighty ones. Kershi Mizron said the angel of the Lord, Curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to the help of the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordish dish. She put his, she put her hand to the nail and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer, she smote Sisera. She smote off his head when she had pierced and stricken through his temple. At her feet, he bowed, he fell, he lay down. At her feet, he bowed, he fell. Where he bowed, there he fell down dead. The mother of Cicero looked out at a window and cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her, Yea, she returned answer to herself, Have they not spared? Have they not divided the prey to every man a damsel or two, to Cicero a prey of divers colors, a prayer prey of divers colors of needlework, of divers colors of needlework on both sides, meet for met for the necks of them that take the spoil. So let all thine enemies perish, O Lord, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might. And the land had rest forty years. I have just read Judas five Judges five <laughs> Judges five one through 31. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning to say thank you. We say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to just see one more day, to breathe one more day, to walk one more day, to talk one more day. Lord, we thank you. Thank you just for the small things. Not the cars, the houses, not all the materialistic stuff we have, but the small, important things. 
that we are still in the land of the living. Lord, we thank you that our children are covered. Lord, cover our children this morning. Cover them with your loving arms of care. Lead them and guide them in the way that you want them to go, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, may you add a blessing to the reading of this, of your word. In Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's dive into Judges 5, 1 through 31. Now you see they on a celebration. They're celebrating. And they celebrate. And they, they, Deborah and Barack are celebrating. But they don't forget why they're celebrating. And they don't forget what is going on in the other tribes that didn't come to help them. And you know that it that that is something that we have to deal with in life too. That when you in trouble and people <clears throat> you know how people talk, people you know and everything <clears throat> and people people will talk, people will gossip People will lie. They exaggerate the story. You, you, y'all know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? But they'll sit there and gossip about you, know what's going on with you, and won't even help. And 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 yes, Deborah and Barack, they're celebrating the win that they have done that that has gone on with the children of Israel because. Someone spoke up and did something about what was wrong. And that reminds me of what's going on in our society today. Somebody has, they have taken their voice. They have spoken up. They have decided to say, look, enough, 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 enough of it, enough of this stuff, okay? And... For a while, we had the Black Lives Matter movement, and we had all these people marching, and we had all the people doing this, and we had all the people doing that, and they were standing up, and this and the other, and how could I say this? While you doing all the marching and the preparing of the signs and all this other stuff, you got outsiders that know what's going on, but they don't even get up and come and help you. They don't come and help you at all. And that is the one thing that is such an annoyance, you know, and I know what's going on. I know what the problem is. I know how I can solve it if I join the battle, but some people just too scared. They like to be outsiders looking in. They are outsiders looking in. Well, um, you got the different tribes know what's going on with them. Different tribes know what's going on with them, but they won't help you. It says, it says, um, Okay. Mm, okay, it says in our reading, it says, okay, Zebulun, not to lie with people that jeopard their lives unto the death of the high place in the field. The kings came and fought. You know, but then they say, they were standing there and they was like, 
Okay, well, what's up, Reuben? You know, since Reuben, they did nothing. For the division of Reuben was great because they had division in their in they camp of what was going on with them. They couldn't make up their mind whether they're going to help or not. They sitting there, you know, guessing and playing games and, oh, okay, like, well, I think about it. And, you know, you know you got people like that, you know, some people that I think about it. You ask them for help and they say, I think about it. But they never come back to you and say yes or no. <clears throat> and then some people, you will have you will have an immediate answer from them. You're going to get a yes or a no. And then some people are just going to ignore you like you don't even exist. Ain't that funny how when you in trouble, a lot of people that you thought you could count on, you can't count on them because they over there in their corner worrying about what they going to lose if they join in the fight. You know, that, that's, that's just, you know, and, and it, uh, it, it, it is a thing that is um, very, very... Very detrimental. It's very detrimental when you're in a place where you are in trouble or you want to get out of or you need deliverance from and the people that you thought you could count on to help you get through your deliverance disappear on you. Don't have nothing to say or you got the ones that's gossiping want to give you so much advice. And ain't lifting a hand to do a thing. They, oh, well, you should do this. And you should do that. You should do this. You, I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all got so much to say, but you're not helping me. And and sometimes that can be discouraging. That can be depressing. That can be like, like, please just be quiet. You know, I'm I'm in desperate need over here. I I I, I need help with something, and you don't want to help me. All you want to do is give me chitter chatter. But Barack and Deborah have stepped in and delivered Israel one more time, just one more again, just one more again. You know, they have taken up what God has blessed them with and went out to fight Sisera and kill Sisera. Everybody stick there. You know, everybody else, oh, I don't want to. I don't know. Um, I don't want to lose this stuff. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> like, okay, no mind. Keep moving. And sometimes in our in our time of trouble, in our time of need or stuff, we find out who our true friends are. Tell them to you. But you're always there for ev- you're there for everybody else. You're there. You're there. You're there. Deborah is there for everybody else. Deborah is giving that the, she's giving her prophecy. She's prophesying. She's doing everything God's everything everything God asked her to do. And then she go get about Barack. And then they go and kill Sisera. And they they follow God's direction. And go around to this group, you go around to this group, you go around, say you go around to this cousin, you go to the uncle, then you go to your first cousin, your second cousin, or somebody like that, you know. And then you ask them, well, I'm trying to start a business. Give you an example. I'm, I'm trying to start a business. And you ask them, oh, then you get this feedback. Oh, what you trying to do that for? What you need to do that for? You don't know what you're doing. You know you're going to fail. You know that ain't going to work, right? You know you get the negative comments, you get the negative feedback, and then you get the naysayers, right? But we have to learn how to block them out because they ain't going, they ain't where, look, I learned this a long time ago. If they ain't being where you going, why is you asking them? They ain't been where you going, why is you asking them? Me and my sister were talking last night. <laughs> we were talking about that. 
you know, how, you know, we can, we keep asking, we keep asking, we keep asking all our friends advice and stuff like that and this and the third, but they ain't been where we, they have not been where we going. So now we have wise, we have wised up and we understand we need to ask people that's already at where we going. If they already established promotional, a uh, promotional product line developer, creator, things like that. Uh, somebody already got a uh, media, already in TV, uh, um, already know how to run a streaming channel, already know they already have this experience. I, I you know, and me and my sister had that get that understanding of stop asking people that ain't with that don't do what we do. Just like that's like in the, in this story, Deborah asks is all she, you know, you got all these tribes and everybody's sitting around, and everybody is sitting around, and the thing is, no one wants to, nobody got nothing to say, nobody wants to help, nobody wants to get involved, nobody, and then you when you do ask people, it's a bunch of negativity. Oh no, I run away, child, run the opposite direction from them. But the ones that's the ones that that you the ones that we need to cleave to is the ones that's gonna come forth and say yes. Say yes to your fight, yes to your, you know, how you uh, uh accountability, um mentorship, leadership, things of that nature. And we can't lose we can't lose contact with the ones that's coming along that say yes. Keep the ones that say yes and leave the other ones on the wayside. Leave the other ones on the wayside. Because they're not going to benefit you. They're not going to come bring you no knowledge or information. They too busy gossiping about, oh, you know, she started her business. And, uh, you know, um, you you know, she ain't going to make it. You know, she, she don't know nothing about no run no business. Yeah, let them look from a distance, just like Deborah and Barack did. Okay, y'all, y'all didn't want to do nothing. Now y'all owe. Now you want to claim somebody because they done got over. They done, the Lord done brought them over. The Lord done brought them through. And now you want to come along and be a celebrating with us and you ain't do no work. You always find them like that. Well, they didn't do nothing, didn't want to do nothing, didn't pick up a hammer, a nail, or nothing. But when you done, everything built and pretty, the house, the business, everything is up. Oh, I know her. Yeah, she my cousin. Come on, cuz. Let's hang out. Like, no, I don't want to hang out with you. And that's, that's how we have to do. When we, when we have won something, we can't. Get when we have a fight that we have won, we cannot turn around and look. I want to celebrate with the people that helped me get here, not with the people that was over here talking about, Oh, you ain't gonna make it, that ain't gonna happen. And I don't know what you're doing that for, and you know, she don't know nothing about that. Uh uh-uh, uh, stay on over there where you at, stay over there where you at, because I don't need that. I don't need that negative. I don't need that. I don't need, after I built my business, did what I did, started my ministry, and and, and God has given me what he's given me, why I'm going to sit here and no, I keep you in my prayers. I keep you, you know, hey, how are you doing from time to time? I'm not going to act like you don't exist, but hey, some things you put yourself in that space. And I put you in that space. I put you, look, okay, cool. Now, Israel is delivered from this, uh, delivered. They were delivered, stayed delivered for 40 years. Another 40 years. And this is a magic number or something. 40 years. Who wanted 40 years in the desert? Then 40 years of something else. 40 years enslaved. 40 years out of slavery. And they seem like they're not to get it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. They spent 40 years out of slavery after this moment. 
So, in the next chapter, I want to know what happens to the children of Israel. I want to I, I wanna know. Because, to be honest with you, I have never read my Bible in this way before. I have taken my time to examine every chapter, to examine every verse, every every word in this in the book and bring it to you in its in in its entirety. And I like I said, obedience is better than sacrifice. So I'm being obedient what God asked me to do. Obedience. Okay? So let's you know, um, read up on chapter six in Judges, Judges, and read on chapter six, and we will review that tomorrow, okay? I love you, and I thank you, and I greatly appreciate you being in the place to be for daily devotion, okay? I love y'all, and you have a blessed day. Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore and welcome to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Do you have products and services that you want to tell the world about? Well, I have an offer for you. Did you know that when you make a 60 minute voiceover ad and place it in podcasts, that it increases your business awareness by 50% in the marketplace? Voice-over ads aren't that expensive. They range from $15 to $25. It all depends on where you place your ad in the podcast. So come on in and place your ad on Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast and tell the world what you have to offer. You can reach me at IamSharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. Come on, let's tell the world what you are made of. Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. I am the owner, CEO of LBM TV. It is a streaming channel that can be located on the C1 Media Network Smart TV app. This app can be located on Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Android TV, and Google TV. We have advertising spots available for businesses that want to advertise their products or services on our channel. We have an audience of 4.25 million viewers daily reaching 70 plus countries. We have advertising packages to fit your company's needs. We would love for you to join the LBM family. You can reach us through our email address, lbmtvmedia at gmail.com or call us at 724-570-1153 for further details. Talk to you soon and let's advertise, advertise and tell the world what you are made of. Authors, 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 have you written a book? Are you an experienced author or a new author? Well, I've got news for you. Authors Excerpt Sunday is the perfect start to growing your audience awareness with the public. Authors Excerpt Sunday has interview spots available in many forms. Live broadcasting done on all social media outlets, television, and podcasting. We would love to help you tell the world about your book. You can reach us at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. And let's tell the world about your book.